What would life be like if you woke up one day and you suddenly became 8 meters tall? I mean, for one, you could probably dunk, right? I mean, you'd literally be taller than the basketball hoop. You could also finally reach a top shelf at the grocery store, for all of you short kings out there. But outside of your cool new ability to never be someone's elbow rest, what would your everyday life actually be like? Like how much food would you need to eat, how much would you weigh, and etc. And so you might be wondering, why the hell is this guy thinking about what life would be like if he was 8 meters tall? Well you see, this is the premise of a manga series that I've been reading recently, which is Cherry no Koi wa 8 meters, aka Cherry's love is 8 meters. And so for those of you who haven't read this manga before, it's basically about this girl named Chieri Umin who grew to become, well, 8 meters tall and her childhood friend Yumeji who helps Chieri navigate her 8 meter tall lifestyle. And honestly, despite its wacky concept, the manga is this pretty cute slice of life manga with a lot of fun quirks. And so let's just entertain this premise, right? What would life actually be like if someone really ever did become this tall? Well, to answer this question, I decided to look into three different but related questions, being how much would you weigh, how much food would you eat, and what would scaling up your everyday necessities of life look like? And so for the sake of this video, we are assuming that you are perfectly healthy at the height of 8 meters tall by, you know, some miracle. But anyways, before we begin, I do want to put Chieri's height into context. And so currently the tallest land animal in the world is the giraffe. And the tallest giraffe ever recorded was George the giraffe who measured in at around 19 feet or 5.8 meters tall. And so that's about 2.12 meters shorter than Chieri. And so yeah, Chieri could literally post up on George, turn around and dunk on his measly 19 foot ass. Like she is literally one whole Kevin Durant taller than him. But even though Cherry is currently the queen of all land animals, she pales in comparison to the largest land animal ever, the Sorrow Poseidon, which could grow up to 59 feet or 18 meters tall, and this would eclipse Cherry by over 32 feet or 4.37 Yao Mings. So try dunking on that Cherry. And so anyways, giraffes and Sorrow Poseidons aside, let's talk about Cherry's weight. And so you see, Chiri's weight forms the foundation that we need to answer all of the remaining questions. And so sorry Chiri, your weight is about to be exposed. Yep, I'm about to be the enemy of all women here. And so, let's say that there exists a person who is the same height as Chiri. Well, what would her weight be? Well, since a person like this obviously doesn't exist, to answer this question, we need to look at a metric to make an estimate. And so why not BMI? You see, BMI is the body mass index, and this is a calculation based on a person's weight in kilograms divided by the square of height in meters. And so you see, there is an issue with BMI. It's not an entirely accurate metric for someone who is either very tall or very short. And so if we extrapolate this calculation to the very extreme, let's say eight meters tall, then we would get an extremely inaccurate result. For example, if we calculate Chieri's weight based on the average BMI of a Japanese woman who is 21.8 kilograms per meter squared, we would find that Chieri would only weigh about 1,295.2 kilograms or 3,075 pounds, which is extremely light for a eight meter tall person. Like straight up, this car that Cherry picks up would weigh more than her, despite the fact that Cherry would eclipse its size by a long shot. And so how do we actually calculate Cherry's weight? If only there was some way to estimate the weight of something that doesn't exist today. Well, get ready because we can look at dinosaurs. And so this research paper details two ways scientists estimate the weight of a dinosaur with limited information. But the one that we want to focus in on is volumetric density. And so basically volumetric density calculates the weight of an animal, or in this case a human, for using a 3D model to calculate its volume and by multiplying its volume by its supposed density. But you see, while we may not have a 3D rendering of Chieri, we do have this 2D images from the manga panels. And we see from the manga that Chieri has similar proportions as a normal human. 
except that she is, well, scaled to 8 meters tall. And so basically what this means is that the multiplicative difference in Cherry's height is the same in all dimensions, as she would scale proportionally. And this means her volume would scale by the cube of that multiplicative difference. And so if we assume Cherry does have the same density as a regular human, we wouldn't need to calculate the exact volume. Rather, we can just scale up weight by the multiplicative difference in volume. And so, according to my research, the average adult Japanese woman, her height would be around 1.586 meters and weight would be 51.9 kilograms. This means that Cherry's height is about 5.04 times that of a normal Japanese woman, which means her volume differs by a factor of 5.04 cubed. Knowing that, we can find out that Cherry would weigh 6,644.448 kilograms, or 14,648 pounds. Yeah, Cherry's basically the same weight as a large African bush elephant, which weighs around 6,100 kilograms, or 13,500 pounds. And honestly, that kind of makes sense, because a large African bush elephant would be similar in size. Like, even though an elephant is only about 3 meters tall, it can reach lengths of up to 7 meters. And so, go figure, Cherry is basically the same size as an elephant. And so, finding Cherry's weight serves as the basis for the next calculation, and for, I guess, the rest of the video. And so, knowing her weight, let's move on to the next question. If you were 8 meters tall, how much food would you have to eat? And so, this is a really interesting question that we want to answer. And so basically, we want to look at the total quantity of calories that Chiri needs to eat, which we can then convert and equate to food intake. And so when looking at the caloric intake of an 8 meter tall girl, we need to break it down into two statistics, basal metabolic rate, BMR, and total energy expenditure, or TEE. And to begin with, let's start out with basal metabolic rate. And so, basal metabolic rate, it refers to the minimum amount of calories that your body needs to perform necessary functions, such as pumping blood, digesting food, breathing, and etc. It's basically the amount of energy that you consume while at rest. And so, while there do exist some formulas that you can use to calculate BMR, such as the mifflin saint jor equation, the same issue as BMI applies where these models break down at the very extremes, i.e. Mifflin and saint jor probably weren't anticipating some dumbass trying to apply their formulas to an 8 meter tall woman. Luckily enough for us, there is a straightforward formula that we can use to calculate BMR that works on animals and I guess humans scaled up to Cherry's size. And this formula is Kleber's Law. So Kleber's Law basically describes the relationship between the metabolic rate of an organism and its body size, i.e. how much something needs to eat based on its weight. He observed that metabolic rate doesn't scale linearly by size, but rather logarithmically. And so while there is some controversy about Kleber's law, there is a general consensus that Kleber's law is a fairly consistent relationship when applied to homeoferms, aka warm-blooded animals. And so, assuming Cherry isn't some freak reptilian, we can apply Kleber's law as she is most likely warm-blooded. But yeah, if we're using Kleber's law, we can basically plug in Cherry's weight into the formula B equals Km to the 3 4th power. And so plugging in Cherry's weight of 6,644.448 kilograms, and we find that, drumroll please, Cherry would consume 51,516 kcalories per day purely at rest. And so for context, a McDonald's Big Mac is 590k calories, which means that to simply just exist every day, Cherry would need to eat 87.32 Big Macs. And so remember that this isn't including any physical activity at all. This is straight up just resting. And so how many calories would Cherry have to realistically spend then in total? Well, let's move on to Cherry's total energy expenditure. And this is also relatively straightforward to approximate we can use physical activity level. And so basically the UN did a study that calculated the difference of total energy expenditure and BMR, and they calculated this for using physical activity level. And so we can calculate Cherry's physical activity level through looking at the manga. We know that she does PE and she spends a lot of time helping out people in the city and doing tasks for them. And so knowing this, 
I have assigned a physical activity level of 1.7 to Cherry. And this would basically put Cherry in the active slash moderately active lifestyle, which is described as people with sedentary occupations who regularly spend a certain amount of time in moderate to vigorous physical activities. And this matches Cherry perfectly. And so knowing this, we just need to multiply the PMR by 1.7 to get our estimate for Cherry's total energy expenditure. And that would be about 87,577 kcalories, or 148.44 Big Macs. Yeah, Cherry would eat a ton. Now that we know how much Cherry eats, let's move on to the next question. If you were 8 meters tall, what would your everyday necessities of life look like? And so for this question, I really just wanted to focus in on and analyze some of the everyday aspects or, haha, slices of life that now appear in this manga, not that they are scaled up to Chieri's size. And so you see in the manga, the offer kind of explains away the procurement of these everyday necessities as being that Chieri is supported by the Japanese government, and specifically the giant girl support department, whatever that means. And so this department provides Chieri with her everyday necessities and even some luxuries. Like they literally provided her with a giant size smartphone, huge earbuds, and etc. And so while it's incredibly difficult to calculate what goes into making all of these items, I think it'd be fascinating to look at some of Cherry's other basic necessities. And so for this video, I want to focus in on two main things, Cherry's water usage and her clothing. And so let's talk about water usage first. And so in terms of water usage, let's start out with how much water Cherry drinks every day. And so some studies show that we can roughly estimate daily water intake by equating one milliliter of water per one kcalorie. And so 87,577 kcalories means 87.577 liters or 23 gallons of water spent by just pure drinking water. But this also depends a lot on Cherry's activity level and even her environment conditions. And so you know, this number could increase or decrease and that would make sense because you know, you need more water if you sweat more and etc. And so in terms of drinking water, Jerry is honestly chillin'. But sadly, drinking water isn't the only usage of water for Jerry. We also need to consider some other common aspects of life, such as, you know, flushing the toilet and bathing. And so an average person flushes the toilet five times a day with an average flush volume of 8.33 liters. And so we know that from the manga, the toilet scales the same in size as Cherry. And, you know, since I really don't want to calculate the size of Cherry's gargantuan dumps, I'm just going to assume the flush volume scales by the same factor of 5.03 cubed as Cherry, meaning that per flush, Cherry would use 1,066 liters of water. And so in a day, Cherry would flush 5,330 liters of water literally down the drain. And so let's now talk about bathing. And so looking at this massive bathtub and of course nothing else, we see that the bath volume would scale at the same factor as Cherry. And so knowing that the full bathtub requires 265 liters of water, we see that Cherry would use about 33,725 liters per bath. We go by the going rate of $30 per 120 milliliters of bath water, as according to Belle Delphine, then we really get that Cherry actually profits off of Anyways, let's move on to her, I guess, clothing usage. And so in the manga, Cherry has a ton of outfits. Like, I mean, a ton. Like she got a school swimsuit, a regular swimsuit, street clothes, and whatever this is. But for now, let's calculate the material cost of her school uniform, since this is the outfit that she primarily wears throughout the series. And so let's start by calculating the total amount of material that goes into her shirt, skirt, and socks. Now let's assume that these materials are primarily cotton, which is in line with a lot of the materials used in school uniforms. And so according to some research I'd done, it would take approximately 1.75 pounds or 0.79 kilograms to make these clothes normal size. And we know that from before, Cherry is about 5.04 times taller than the average Japanese woman. And so you see, this is where the tricky part comes in. When deciding how much to scale these clothes by, we know we have to scale by surface area, but would we also have to scale by thickness? And so in doing some research, it turns out that we really 
don't need to scale by thickness and only by surface area. You see, clothing has its own inherent insulation value, aka its glow value, and this is tied to the area density of the material. And so if we increase the thickness, we would also increase the material per square meters, and thus increasing the insulation. And so knowing this, we would only have to scale the surface area of cherry, meaning that after multiplying the weight of the material by 5.04 squared, the total outfit would come out to a weight of 44.5 pounds or 20.2 kilograms. Oh, and also to round things off, the tie would scale up to about 1.14 kilograms or 2.52 pounds of silk. And so now some of you might be wondering, what about her underwear? Well, all I have to say to you is you absolute degenerates. Do you think I'm like depraved enough that I would calculate the size of an anime girl's underwear? Okay, well, so Cherry's panties would weigh about 0.38 kilograms or 0.84 pounds of cotton, and her bra would weigh about 1.14 kilograms or 2.52 pounds. Yeah, I'm probably on a list somewhere. Anyways, let's talk about her feet. So as we can see, Cherry has some huge feet. An average Japanese woman's foot is about 5.5 US shoe size, which is about 22 centimeters. Scaling that up, we find that Cherry's feet are approximately 111 centimeters or 3.64 feet long. And so yeah, wow, I guess this scene actually is pretty accurately sized. Go figure. But anyways, in regards to shoe materials, we find that we need roughly 35.73 square feet of leather, or roughly 3.32 square meters of shoe material. And assuming we use six ounce leather, this shoe would roughly weigh 13.4 pounds or 6.1 kilograms. And so knowing that the material needed to make her shoe, we now know that Cherry is wearing 63.78 pounds of clothing on her. And that's pretty crazy. And so, yeah, I think this is a good place to wrap up. And so, yeah, thank you guys all for watching me answer this anime question that no one was asking. And so, if you guys like this video, please like and subscribe because this has been like the most research I've ever done for what is effectively a glorified shit post. And so, yeah, if you also have any questions or clarifications that you need, feel free to leave a comment down below. But until next time, Dwarlock signing off. Wait, so you're saying this girl is 8 meters tall, right? Yeah, sounds about right. And her crush is like, normal sized, right? Yeah, that's also right. Wait, so how do they fuck?